appending his signature to the 451 billion naira 2014 budget, his last major budget, alongside the data state security trust fund bill, the remuneration, salaries, allowances, gratuity of certain public officers bill, and the local government bill 2013 amended. Governor Emmanuel Oduan said the budget comprised 64% capital expenditure and 36% recurrent expenditure. He described the budget as crucial to delivering dividends of democracy to the people and added that recurrent expenditure had been controlled to free more money for capital expenditure that would add value to people's lives. We are trying as much as possible to spend more money on capital uh, projects because this is what our people see. This is what they benefit from the capital projects. With the 6 percent which is recorded for running government salaries and all that. And over the years, we have had more recurrent uh, capital but the last few years, we have tried as much as possible to reduce our current expenditure and spend more on uh, capital. Uh, we do hope that as the year um, goes by, we will be able to achieve this. Explaining the Security Trust Fund Bill, Governor Oduan said the bill empowered government to partner with individuals and groups to fund security operations as the state was prepared to secure lives and property, including that of investors. He said the remuneration, salaries, allowances, gratuity of certain public officers' bill streamlines benefits equitable to elected and appointed public officers and civil servants, while the local government law guarantees a well-structured local government administration and reduction of burden of administration for the state government. Security is not something the government alone can form because security requires a lot of logistics and of course in addition to taking care of the welfare of the security agencies. And what we are doing now uh, we started on giving a lot of money that we have used for other areas of very capital development. So we need assistance from the citizens, we need assistance from companies, we need assistance from corporate bodies to be able to fund security issues. Governor Oduan lauded the state legislators' speedy and painstaking passage of the budget, as well as the three other laws, and assured them of his cooperation. Presenting the bids for the governor's signature earlier, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Victor O'Shea, said this year's appropriation bill was received by the state legislator on December 18 last year, adding that the bill and the three others were approved speedily to promote good governance. Meanwhile, Governor Emmanuel Oduan has received kudos for giving emphasis to capital projects in this year's budget. A cross-section of deltans, including the chief advisor to the governor on legislative matters, Honorable Emmanuel Okoro, and the political advisor to the governor, Delta North, Omode, George Ugboma, said 64% capital expenditure contained in the budget was well thought out. They said it behoved on deltans to give support to infrastructural development in the state. In respect of the capital project that has been increased, it's going to be a very good omen to data state because many capital projects are going to be executed at the expense of recurrent expenditure, which is very good. It's important one thing that the government is trying as much as possible to provide proper infrastructural basis to enhance the quality of governance and also the economy of the state. To the betterment of our people. In Government House, Jayere Ugbeye, Data TV News.